Ed Sheeran. Height 1.73 m. Weight 82 kg. Net worth, $110 million in 2019. Edward Christopher Sheeran, MBE born February 17, 1991, is an English singer, songwriter, guitarist, record producer, and actor. He attended the Academy of Contemporary Music in Guildford as an undergraduate from the age of 18 in 2009. In early 2011, Sheeran independently released the extended play, No. 5 Collaborations Project. After signing with Asylum Records, his debut album, Plus, pronounced Plus, was released in September 2011. It topped the UK and Australian charts, reached number 5 in the US, and has since been certified seven times platinum in the UK. The album contains the single The A Team, which earned him the Ivor Novello Award for Best Song Musically and Lyrically. In 2012, Sheeran won the Brit Awards for Best British Male Solo Artist and British Breakthrough Act. The A-Team was nominated for Song of the Year at the 2013 Grammy Awards, where he performed the song with Elton John. His second studio album, X, pronounced Multiply, was released in June 2014. It peaked at number one in the UK and the US. In 2015, X won the Brit Award for Album of the Year, and he received the Ivor Novello Award for Songwriter of the Year from the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers, and Authors. His single from X, Thinking Out Loud, earned him two Grammy Awards at the 2016 ceremony, Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance. In May 2016, X was named the second best-selling album worldwide of 2015. Sheeran's third album, Divided By, pronounced Divide, was released in March 2017. The album debuted at number one in the UK, the US and other major markets. The first two singles from the album, Shape of You and Castle on the Hill, were released in January 2017 and broke records in a number of countries, including the UK, Australia, and Germany. By debuting in the top two positions of the charts, he also became the first artist to have two songs debut in the US top 10 in the same week. By March 2017, Sheeran had accumulated 10 top 10 singles from Divided By on the UK singles chart breaking the record for most top 10 UK singles from one album. His fourth single from Divided By, Perfect, reached number one in the US, Australia and the UK, where it became the Christmas number one in 2017. In April 2018, Divided By was named the best-selling album worldwide of 2017. Sheeran has sold more than 150 million records worldwide, making him one of the world's best-selling music artists. Two of his albums are in the list of the best-selling albums in UK chart history, X at number 20, and Divided By at number 34. An alumnus of the National Youth Theatre in London, as an actor Sheeran has portrayed a recurring role on The Bastard Executioner, and in 2019. He appeared in the Richard Curtis slash Danny Boyle film Yesterday. Early life Sheeran was born in Halifax, West Yorkshire on 17 February 1991. When he was a child, he moved with his family from Hebden Bridge to Framlingham in Suffolk. He has an older brother named Matthew who works as a composer. Sheeran's parents, John and Imogen, are from London. His paternal grandparents are Irish, and Sheeran has stated that his father is from a very large Catholic family. 13 John is an art curator and lecturer. And Imogen is a culture publicist turned jeweler designer. His parents ran Sheeran Locke, an independent art consultancy, from 1990 to 2010. Sheeran sang in a local church choir from the age of four, learned to play the guitar during his time at Rishworth School, 
and began writing songs while at Thomas Mills High School in Framlingham. He was accepted at the National Youth Theatre in London as a teenager. He successfully auditioned for Youth Music Theatre UK in 2007 and joined their production of Frankenstein in Plymouth. He is a patron of Youth Music Theatre UK, now renamed British Youth Music Theatre, and of Access to Music, where he studied artist development. Sheeran is a second cousin of Northern Irish broadcaster Gordon Burns, who hosted the British game show The Krypton Factor. Music Career 2004-2010, Career Beginnings Sheeran performing at the Ipswich Arts Festival in July 2010. Sheeran began recording music in 2004, and independently released his first collection of work, Spinning Man. He has been friends with fellow English singer, Passenger, since he was 15, with the two playing on the same gig in Cambridge. He moved to London in 2008, and began playing in small venues. In 2008, he auditioned for the ITV series, Britannia High. He also opened for Nis Lopi in Norwich in April 2008, after being one of their guitar technicians. He released another EP in 2009, You Need Me, just before going on tour with Just Jack. He also did a few collaborations with Essex singer, Ledra Chapman, including C. Lo Green's Fuck You. In February 2010, Sheeran posted a video through SB.TV, and rapper Example invited Sheeran to tour with him. In the same month, he also released his critically acclaimed Loose Chain GP, which featured his future debut single, The A-Team. In the autumn of 2009, Sheeran began studying music at the Academy of Contemporary Music, ACM, in Guildford, Surrey as an undergraduate, though it is not clear how long he remained at the college. Sheeran began to be seen by more people over the internet through YouTube and his fan base grew, with him also receiving praise from the independent newspaper and Elton John. He played a station session in St. Pancras International in June 2010. The episode is unavailable from the official station sessions channel. Sheeran also self-released two other EPS in 2010, Ed Sheeran, Live at the Bedford and Songs I Wrote with Amy, which is a collection of love songs he wrote in Wales with Amy Watch. In 2010 he was in Los Angeles and was invited to perform at the Fox Hole, a club run by actor Jamie Foxx, which ended with an invitation to stay at Foxx's home. On January 8, 2011, Sheeran released another independent EP, No. 5 Collaborations Project, featuring grime artists such as Wiley, Schmet, Devlin, Sway and Getz. With this EP, Sheeran gained mainstream attention for reaching number 2 in the iTunes chart without any promotion or label, selling over 7,000 copies in its first week. Three months later, Sheeran put on a free show to fans at the Barfly in Camden Town. Over 1,000 fans turned up, so Sheeran played four different shows to ensure everyone saw a gig, including a gig outside on the street after the venue had closed. Later that month, Sheeran was signed to Asylum Records. Minus 2011 to 2013, plus an international success. On April 26, 2011, Sheeran appeared on the TV music show Later with Jules Holland, where he performed his debut single The A-Team. Six weeks later, The A-Team was released as a digital download in the UK. The release served as the lead single from Sheeran's debut studio album, Plus, pronounced Plus, dot 39 The A-Team entered the UK singles chart at number 3, selling over 58. 000 copies in the first week. It was the best selling debut single and the overall eighth best selling single of 2011, selling 801,000 copies.
the lead single also became a top 10 hit in Australia, Germany, Ireland, Japan, Luxembourg, New Zealand, Norway, and the Netherlands. During a headline set in the BBC introducing Tent at Glastonbury Festival 2011, Sheeran announced that You Need Me. I Don't Need You would be released on August 26 as the second single from the album. The second single peaked at number 4 on the UK singles chart. Lego House was released as the third single, reaching the top 10 on the Australian, Irish and New Zealand singles charts. The music video for Lego House features Harry Potter actor Rupert Grint, as a play on their similar appearance. Drunk, released on February 19, 2012, became Sheeran's fourth consecutive top 10 single in the UK, peaking at number 9. Sheeran released and on September 12, 2011. The album received generally favorable reviews from music critics. Plus debuted at number 1 on the UK album's chart for sales of 102,000 copies. By end of 2011, sales of the album in the UK stand at 791,000, it became the second best-selling debut album and the ninth biggest-selling album there. The album has been certified platinum six times by the British phonographic industry, denoting shipments of 1,800,000 copies. As of March 2012, the album had sold 1,021,072 copies in the UK. The album also reached the top five in Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, and the US. The song, Moments, on the debut album by boy band One Direction, released in November 2011, was co-written by Sheeran. At the 2012 Brit Awards on February 21, Sheeran won the Brit Awards for Best British Male Solo Artist, and British Breakthrough Act of the Year. On January 10, 2012, it was announced that Sheeran would support Snow Patrol on their US tour from late March until May. His song, Give Me Love, was featured in the episode Dangerous Liaisons of the Vampire Diaries. At the Ivor Novello Awards in May 2012, Sheeran's The A-Team bested Adele's Rolling in the Deep and Florence and the Machines Shake It Out for Best Song Musically and Lyrically. Sheeran performed the A-Team at the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II concert held on the mall outside Buckingham Palace on June 4, 2012 and a cover of Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. At the closing ceremony of the 2012 Summer Olympics in London on August 12, 2012, Taylor Swift contacted Sheeran after hearing his music while touring Australia in March 2012. He later co-wrote and provided vocals for Everything Has Changed, a single featured on Swift's fourth studio album, Red. Sheeran also contributed two songs to One Direction's second studio album, Take Me Home, released in November 2012, the single Little Things became the group's second number one in the UK. Sheeran's album peaked at No. 5 on the Billboard 200, while the A-Team reached No. 16 on the US Billboard Hot 100. In late 2012 and early 2013, he headlined a US tour of 6,000 to 9,000 capacity venues. The A-Team received a nomination for Song of the Year at the 2013 Grammy Awards. Elton John, who runs Sheeran's management company, canvassed the award organizers to get Sheeran a performance slot at the ceremony but was told that Sheeran alone was not high profile enough. John decided to appear with Sheeran to circumvent this problem. Sheeran was also featured on some tracks from Irish singer Foy Vance's fourth album Joy of Nothing. From March to September 2013, Sheeran played at arenas and stadiums across North America as the opening act for Swift's The Red Tour. According to Sheeran, it was then his biggest tour and he added a scarlet red tattoo to commemorate it. In October 2013, 
Sheeran headlined three sold-out shows at New York's Madison Square Garden. At the concert, Sheeran debuted new songs including Tenerife Sea, a future track on his second studio album. Sheeran released I See Fire on November 5, 2013. The song is featured in the end credits of the film The Hobbit. The Desolation of Smog, the film's soundtrack, and on the deluxe version of his second album. Sheeran was nominated for Best New Artist at the 2014 Grammy Awards. Minus 2014 to 2015, on March 24, 2014, Sheeran performed at the Teenage Cancer Trust charity concert at the Royal Albert Hall in London where he unveiled Take It Back. A track that would appear on the deluxe version of the second album. Sing, the lead single, was released on April 7, 2014. Sonically, the song is a departure from Sheeran's previous recordings. Sing was intended to create hype over the album release, but from concern that this might alienate Sheeran's fan base, one, an acoustic ballad, was released on May 16, 2014. One also marked the first of several promotional singles released leading to the album release. By early June 2014, Sing had earned Sheeran his first number one single in the UK. Sheeran's second studio album, X, pronounced Multiply, was released worldwide on June 23, 2014. In a span of three years, Sheeran wrote more than 120 songs for the album, the earliest of which was composed shortly after and was released 79. The album features tracks produced by Rick Rubin, Farrell Williams and Benny Blanco, as well as that of Gosling's. X peaked at number one in both the UK Albums Chart and the US Billboard 200. To support the album, Sheeran embarked on a world tour starting on August 6, 2014 at Osaka, Japan. On September 27, 2014, Sheeran was one of the headline acts at the Melbourne Cricket Ground prior to the 2014 AFL Grand Final 80 following Don't. Thinking Out Loud was released on September 24, 2014 as the album's third single. Unlike his previous music videos, Sheeran took the lead role in the single's accompaniment, where he performed a ballroom dance. It became his second single to reach number one in the UK. And it also spent eight weeks at number two on the US Billboard Hot 100, with only Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars keeping it from top spot. In 2014, Combined streams on Sheeran's catalog in Spotify reached 860 million, Spotify named him the most streamed artist and X the most streamed album. In the same year, the album made Sheeran iTunes best-selling artist in the UK, Ireland, and New Zealand. X was nominated for Album of the Year at the 57th Grammy Awards. Sheeran performed alongside John Mayer at the ceremony. On February 25th, Sheeran won British Male Solo Artist and British Album of the Year for X at the 2015 Brit Awards. On May 21st, he received the Ivor Novello Award for Songwriter of the Year. On June 21st, Sheeran co hosted the 2015 Much Music Video Awards in Toronto, where he performed the singles. Thinking Out Loud and Photograph. He also won two awards, Best International Artist and Most Buzzworthy International Artist or Group. On June 27, Sheeran performed as the opening act for the Rolling Stones in their Zip Code tour date in Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium. On October 12, July 2015, Sheeran performed sold out shows at London's Wembley Stadium. The shows, which were announced in November 2014, were part of his world tour. The concert was documented and aired on August 16, 2015 on NBC, the one-hour special Ed Sheeran, Live at Wembley Stadium also included behind-the-scenes footage.
In November 2015 Sheeran released the DVD Jumpers for Goalposts, Live at Wembley Stadium, the title is a nod to playing concerts at Wembley Stadium, the home of English football. In 2015, Sheeran wrote Love Yourself for Justin Bieber's fourth album. Sheeran had initially planned to put the song on his third album Divided By and added that the track would have been scrapped before Bieber took the song. In August 2015, he sang along with Macklemore on the track Growing Up. On September 26, Sheeran performed at the 2015 Global Citizen Festival in Central Park's Great Lawn in New York, an event organized by Coldplay lead singer, Chris Martin that advocates an end to extreme global poverty. Sheeran headlined the festival along with Beyoncé, Coldplay, and Pearl Jam. The festival was broadcast on NBC in the US on September 27 and the BBC in the UK on September 28. Sheeran co-hosted the 2015 MTV Europe Music Awards on October 25 in Milan, Italy. He won the awards for Best Live Act and Best Live Stage, the latter was in recognition for his performance at the 2014 V Festival in England. Sheeran won the Breakthrough Award at the 2015 Billboard Touring Awards. His single from X, Thinking Out Loud, earned him two Grammy Awards at the 2016 Ceremony, Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance. In May 2016, X was named the second best-selling album worldwide in 2015, behind 25 by Adele. Minus 2016 to 2018, on December 13, 2016, after a year-long hiatus and social media break, Sheeran tweeted a picture and changed his Twitter, Facebook and Instagram to a light blue. Implying the release of a new album, each of Sheeran's previous albums were a single colored background with a solid mathematical symbol. On January 2, he posted a 10-second video on Twitter and other social media showing what was the cover design of his forthcoming album entitled Divided By, pronounced Divide, which was released on 3 March 2017. The album debuted at number one in the UK, the US, Germany, Australia, Canada and other major markets. With first week sales of 672,000 it is the fastest selling album by a male solo artist in the UK, and third fastest in UK chart history behind 25 by Adele and Be Here Now by Oasis. It had the biggest first week sales of 2017 in the US, until it was surpassed by Taylor Swift's reputation. On January 6, Sheeran released two singles, Shape of You and Castle on the Hill. The theme of the latter single is about Sheeran's upbringing in his hometown of Framlingham in Suffolk, with the castle referring to Framlingham Castle. Following the release of these singles, Sheeran went on to co-host the BBC Radio 1 breakfast show with Scott Mills where it was inferred that he would possibly make an appearance at the Glastonbury Festival in 2017. It was also during this show that Sheeran used a new Martin guitar that featured the Divided By logo, of his new album, on both the headstock and body of the acoustic guitar. Both singles went on to break the Spotify Day 1 streaming record, with a combined total of over 13 million streams in 24 hours. On January 13, Shape of You and Castle on the Hill entered the UK singles chart at number 1 and number 2. The first time in history an artist has taken the top two UK chart positions with new songs. The same day he also became the first artist to debut at number 1 and number 2 on the official German. Single Charts on January 15, the songs debuted at number 1 and number 2 on the ARIA singles chart, the first time this has been achieved in the history of the Australian chart. On January 17, Shape of You debuted at number 1 on the US Billboard Hot 100, while Castle on the Hill entered at number 6. This made Sheeran the first artist ever to have two songs simultaneously debut in the US Top 10. 
On January 26, Sheeran announced tour dates for the album divided by in Europe, South America, and North America from March 17 until 14 June 2017. Sheeran played to over 950. 000 people in Australia and New Zealand in March and April 2018, making it the biggest concert tour in Australasian music history, overtaking the previous record set by Dire Straits in 1986. On February 17, 2017, Sheeran released How Would You Feel, Pian. Though not an official single, the song peaked at number 2 in the UK. By March 11, 2017 Sheeran had accumulated 10 top 10 singles from Divided By on the UK Singles Chart, breaking Scottish DJ Calvin Harris's record of 9 top 10 singles from one album. At the 2017 MTV Video Music Awards Sheeran was named Artist of the Year. The fourth single from Divided By, Perfect, reached number one in the UK and Australia, and a stripped-down acoustic version of the song titled Perfect Duet, a collaboration with Beyoncé. Reached number one in the US and the UK, becoming the year's UK Christmas number one. On November 7, Taylor Swift revealed that Sheeran collaborated on the song Endgame for her sixth studio album Reputation. The song, which also features rapper Future, was released on November 10. On December 4, Sheeran was named Spotify's most streamed artist of 2017 with 6.3 billion streams. He has Spotify's biggest album of the year with Divided by Stream 3.1 billion times, and the top song with Shape of You with 1.4 billion streams. On December 5, 2017, Hip-hop artist Eminem announced that Sheeran had collaborated on the song River for his ninth studio album Revival. On working with Eminem, Sheeran stated, He is one of the reasons I started writing songs, and was such a pleasure to work with him. Speaking on the Late Late Show on Irish television on December 15, Sheeran stated he has a theme song written for a James Bond film in case he gets the call from producers of the film series. In December 2017, Sheeran appeared on BBC Radio 1's Live Lounge, performing his song Perfect and a duet of the Pogues festive classic Fairytale of New York with Anne-Marie. On January 3, 2018, Shape of You was named the best-selling single of 2017 in the UK, and the best-selling single of 2017 on the Billboard Hot 100 in the US. The same day, Divided By was named the best-selling album of 2017 in the UK, and the US. At the 2018 Brit Awards held at the O2 Arena in London on February 21, Sheeran performed Supermarket Flowers and received the Global Success Award from Elton John and Rolling Stones guitarist Ronnie Wood. In April 2018, the IFPI name divided by the best-selling album worldwide of 2017. At the 2018 Billboard Music Awards on May 20, Sheeran performed Galway Girl from Phoenix Park in Dublin, Ireland, and picked up six awards, including Top Artist and Top Hot 100 Artist. Dash 2019, Present, Number 6 Collaborations Project on May 10, 2019, Sheeran released the single I Don't Care, a duet with Justin Bieber, from his upcoming fourth studio album No. 6 Collaborations Project. On Spotify, I Don't Care debuted with 10.977 million daily global streams, breaking the platform's single-day streaming record and topping the previous record of 10.819 million. Set by Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You. The song debuted at number one in the UK, Australia, and other markets, and number two in the US. On May 31st, Cross Me featuring Chance the Rapper and PNB Rock, debuted at number nine in the UK. Released on June 28, 2019, Beautiful People featuring Khalid debuted at number three in the UK and number four in Australia. On July 5, 
Sheeran released two new songs, Best Part of Me featuring Yeba, and Blow with Bruno Mars and Chris Stapleton. Plagiarism Accusations and Lawsuits In 2017, the team behind TLC song No Scrubs were given writing credits on Sheeran's hit song Shape of You after fans and critics found similarities between elements of the two songs. Also in 2017, Sheeran settled out of court over claims his song photograph was a note-for-note -note copy of a song called Amazing by X Factor UK winner Matt Cardle. In 2018, two Australian musicians filed a copyright infringement complaint against Sheeran, country music singers Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, among others, accusing them of plagiarizing one of their songs. Sean Carey a former guitarist in the band Thirsty Merc and keyboardist and songwriter Bo Golden said The Rest of Our Life, a song by McGraw and Hill and co-written by Sheeran, is substantially similar to their track When I Found You. Later that year, legal action was brought against Sheeran, Sony slash ATV Music Publishing and Atlantic Records by the estate and heirs of the late producer Ed Townsend who co-wrote the song Let's Get It On with Marvin Gaye. U.S. District Judge Louis Stanton rejected Sheeran's call for a legal case accusing him of copying parts of the song to be dismissed in January 2019. Stanton said that a jury should decide but that he found substantial similarities between several of the two work's musical elements. Influences Sheeran's earliest memories include listening to the records of Joni Mitchell, Bob Dylan, and Elton John's greatest hits. According to Sheeran, the album that introduced him to music was Van Morrison's Irish Heartbeat. During his childhood his father took him to live concerts that would inspire his musical creations. These included seeing Eric Clapton at the Royal Albert Hall, Paul McCartney in Birmingham, and Bob Dylan. On the influence of Clapton, Sheeran states, he's the reason I started playing guitar. He singled out Clapton's performance at the party at the Palace in the grounds of Buckingham Palace, I was 11 when I saw Eric Clapton play at the Queen's Golden Jubilee concert in June 2002. I remember him walking on stage with this rainbow-colored Stratocaster and playing the first riff of Layla. I was hooked. Two days later I bought a black Stratocaster copy for £30 that came with an amp all I did for the next month was try to play that Layla riff. He has also cited the Beatles, Niz Lopi, and Eminem as his biggest musical influences. According to Sheeran, he had a stutter in his speech when he was younger. And he credited rapping along to Eminem's The Marshall Mathers LP for helping him get rid of it. He was also inspired by Cannonball singer-songwriter Damien Rice in 2002, with Sheeran stating, Seeing him play this small club in Ireland, I was able to meet him, and he was unbelievably cool. I went straight home and started writing songs. I would not be doing what I'm doing now if he'd been a jerk. He also played the guitar to Westlife's Greatest Hits album when he was 10, citing them as one of his influences. Sheeran collaborated with his idol Eric Clapton in April 2016, with Sheeran stating to People magazine, I sang on Eric Clapton's album I Still Do. It's one thing having him on mine, but being his, that's an honor that you can't ever pinpoint on how great that is. I did something for his record, and I was credited as Angelo Mysterioso, appearing as a guest on Clapton's I Will Be There, in addition to performing the song with Clapton on stage. And he did something for my record performing a guitar solo on Dive on Sheeran's album Divided by N was credited as Angelo Mysterioso. Other Ventures Gingerbread Man Records In March 2015, Sheeran announced he was setting up a record label, Gingerbread Man Records, which is a deal with Warner Music Group. The label was launched in August 2015 alongside its accompanying YouTube channel. Jamie Lawson, the label's first signee, met Sheeran while they were both in London's folk circuit. 
Lawson released his self-titled debut album on October 9, 2015, which has earned him a number one in the UK albums chart. Sheeran signed his second artist, Foy Vance, in November 2015. Charity Sheeran performed a gig in Bristol, which raised £40. 000 for a charity that reaches out to street sex workers. It's good to show insight that these people are real people with real emotions and they deserve the same charity work as anyone else. Sheeran said. There's a lot more popular charities that get a lot of attention. And with certain subjects like this they're often washed over and people don't necessarily give them the attention they deserve. Tickets were available to those taking part in the charities Give It Up for 125 campaign by giving something up for 125 hours and hitting the £40,000 fundraising mark. Sheeran frequently gives away his clothes to charity shops around Suffolk, his home county. An ambassador for East Anglia's Children's Hospice, he has donated clothes to the St. Elizabeth Hospice charity shop in his hometown Framlingham including eight bags of clothes to the shop in February 2014. In 2016 he donated 13 bags of clothes to the shop. The tartan shirt worn by Sheeran when he met Renee Zellweger's character, Bridget, in Bridget Jones's Baby, was auctioned online to raise further funds for the hospice. On November 15, 2014, Sheeran joined the charity supergroup Band Aid 30 along with other British and Irish pop acts. Recording the latest version of the track Do They Know It's Christmas, at Sarm West Studios in Notting Hill, London, to raise money for the West African Ebola virus epidemic. In November 2015, Sheeran supported the No Cold Homes campaign by the UK charity, Turn To Us. Sheeran was one of nearly 30 celebrities, which included Helen Mirren, Jeremy Irons, and Hugh Laurie, to donate items of winter clothing to the campaign. With the proceeds used to help people in the country struggling to keep their home warm in winter. Sheeran appeared in a November 2017 episode of Gogglebox along with other UK celebrities such as Ozzy Osbourne, former Oasis frontman Liam Gallagher and Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn as part of Channel 4 and Cancer Research UK's Stand Up to Cancer fundraising campaign. Acting Sheeran made his acting debut in 2014, a cameo role as himself on New Zealand soap opera Shortland Street, filmed while he was in the country for a one-off performance. In May 2015, he appeared as himself and performed on a live episode of the NBC sitcom Undateable. Later that year, while in Australia, he recorded scenes for the soap Home and Away. As a character based on himself. After recording a cover version of Foy Vance's Make It Rain for Sons of Anarchy, Sheeran was cast by creator Kurt Sutter to play Sir Cormac in the medieval drama The Bastard Executioner on FX. Sheeran also appeared as himself in the 2016 film Bridget Jones's Baby in a scene where Bridget Jones, played by Renee Zellweger, encounters the singer at the Glastonbury Festival. In July 2017, Sheeran appeared in a scene on Game of Thrones opposite Maisie Williams, who plays Arya Stark. David Benioff explained that since Williams was a big fan of the singer, they wanted to have Sheeran appear on the show to surprise Williams, and that they had tried to get him on for years. It received a mix of positive and very critical reviews. In June 2019, Sheeran made his debut appearance in an advertisement for Heinz Tomato Ketchup. A lifelong fan of the product, he carries a bottle on tour, and has a Heinz Ketchup tattoo on his arm, he put forward an idea he had written for their next TV campaign, and the company responded. A representative from Heinz started that one-third of at Heinz Instagram posts include people mentioning or tagging Ed. Dating all the way back to 2014. Poking fun at people who turn their nose up at those who ask for ketchup in fancy restaurants. 
the advert sees him walking into a super posh restaurant while narrating the message he had sent to the company. As the other wealthy diners look on in horror at the sight of a ketchup bottle, he flips the bottle, bangs it against his hand to budge the ketchup and smothers it all over his food. The company released a limited edition ketchup product known as Ed Sheeran X Heinz Ketchup, also known as Heinz Ed Hup. Personal life in early 2011, after securing recording and publishing deals, Sheeran purchased and renovated a farm near Framlingham, Suffolk, where he was raised. He has stated that he hopes to raise a family there. During 2013, he lived between Hendersonville, Tennessee and Los Angeles, California. In 2014, he bought a house in South London. Sheeran was in a relationship with Scottish singer-songwriter Nina Nesbitt, who was in his music video for Drunk, in 2012, before breaking up. Nesbitt is the subject of Sheeran's songs Nina and Photograph, while most of Nesbitt's album, Peroxide, is about Sheeran. In January 2014, Sheeran was in a relationship with Athena Andrelos, who works for chef Jamie Oliver. She is the inspiration of Sheeran's song Thinking Out Loud. They broke up in February 2015. Since July 2015, Sheeran has been in a relationship with childhood friend and former high school classmate Cherry Seaborn. They announced their engagement in January 2018. In August 2018 he hinted that they married in a private ceremony. He is also close friends with singer-songwriter Taylor Swift, and collaborated on her albums Red and Reputation. Sheeran is a supporter of his local football club Ipswich Town FC. A collector of Panini's FIFA World Cup sticker album, he completed the 2014 World Cup album. In June 2015, Forbes listed his earnings at $57 million for the previous 12 months, and ranked him the 27th highest earning celebrity in the world. In July 2018, Forbes named Sheeran ninth on their list of the highest paid celebrities. According to the Sunday Times Rich List of 2019, Sheeran is worth £160 million, $207 million, as the 17th richest musician in the UK. Politics In a December 2017 interview with the Sunday Times Culture magazine, Sheeran spoke of his admiration for Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn. I love Corbyn. I love everything Corbyn is about. And I feel people thought that, because I didn't put myself behind him, I wasn't a Corbyn supporter. He cares about other people. He cares about all classes, races, and generations, and that's how I was brought up. We need more people that care about everyone. Sheeran publicly opposed Brexit, UK leaving the European Union and supported the Remain option. Following the June 2016 referendum result where the British public marginally voted to leave, Sheeran was among a group of British musicians, which included Sting, Queen drummer Roger Taylor, Pink Floyd drummer Nick Mason and Damon Albarn of Blur and Gorillaz, who signed a letter to the Prime Minister Theresa May, drafted by Bob Geldof in October 2018, calling for a second vote, stating that Brexit will impact every aspect of the music industry. From touring to sales, to copyright legislation to royalty collation, the letter adds. We dominate the market and our bands, singers, musicians, writers, producers and engineers work all over Europe and the world and in turn, Europe and the world come to us. Why? Because we are brilliant at it our music reaches out, all-inclusive, and embraces anyone and everyone. And that truly is what Britain is. Awards and nominations On October 19, 2015, Sheeran received an honorary degree from the University of Suffolk in Ipswich for his outstanding contribution to music. Sheeran commented.
Suffolk is very much where I call home. Receiving this recognition is a real privilege. Sheeran was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire, MBE, in the 2017 Birthday Honours for Services to Music and Charity. He received the award from Prince Charles at Buckingham Palace on December 7, 2017.